Hey there collective, this is Renee and welcome back. We have some very strong energies coming in. Uh, we have the new moon in Leo coming in today, well tonight. We also have Venus in Virgo, which is all about... resolving past issues considerably relationships if there's problems in relationships those are bound to arise um, because it's time to get them resolved right we also go into mercury retrograde starting tomorrow so intense energies. Okay, let's get a message for your person. As I was shuffling, I was really noticing the clock. I feel like they're going through a healing. They're going through a time of perspection. And this is also a very good time for you to do the same. Um, the clock could also represent waiting waiting for the right moment right okay let's get a message healing heart what did I say someone is healing over past heartbreaks or wanting to heal their heart over a situation soulmates Okay, your person knows that you're, you're their soulmate. They know that you're the one. They know that you are connected in a way that your bond can't be broken. And they kind of feel that. They kind of feel like no matter what they do, no matter what they say, um no matter what comes in between you that your bond is un can can never be broken your bond is unbreakable heartbroken wow okay well i feel like your situation has brought a lot of heartbreak i feel like this person has really hurt you in the past they may have said things. They may have done things. And even though I feel like this person has done things unintentionally. Because this is just the way this person is. I feel a lot of player energy. Maybe. Someone who has a lot of options. Someone who is very attractive and very outgoing. Someone who seems to be very confident. And carries themselves very well. I feel like this person is also very charming. Oh, but they feel stabbed in the back. I feel like your person has made choices that have come back to bite them. And your person feels very deceived. They feel betrayed. They feel like... They're not sure who can be trusted. Exactly. The snake. Wow. Just what I said. They feel like they don't know who they can trust. They don't know who around them doesn't have bad intentions. Your person feels like they don't have nowhere to turn that's what that's what i'm feeling they they feel like they have nowhere to turn i feel like this is a person who helps out a lot of people but generally doesn't receive the help back we have the boat okay you may be traveling soon Or you may be 
wanting to move forward wanting to move on I'm really feeling like wow okay I'm really feeling like this person wants you to go ahead and move on they want you to move forward they want you to have so much better because they feel like their life is in so much chaos they feel like everything is crumbling and you deserve so much better wow thank you spirit give me another message two wow we have the mask in reverse and we have the golden mirror so i feel like your person their mask is falling they are becoming more vulnerable if they want to or not. I feel like they're no no longer able to hide the way that they feel. The way that they see things. I feel like their perception have changed. They're, they're no longer so... They're no longer so self-absorbed in their own situation they're constantly seeing things from a different point of view and i think in this case i think in this case they're seeing you in a whole different light you know and i feel like at one time your person was trying to push you away because they weren't sure if they could meet your standard and I feel like this is not an expectation that you put on them. This is an expectation that they put on themselves. Because they just assume what you want out of a relationship. They never really took time to ask you what exactly you wanted from a relationship. Or what exactly you even expected from them. They just assumed that your standards were so high that they couldn't meet them. So their expectations were expectations that they set upon themselves. Not expectations that you set upon them. I hope this resonates. <laughs> this is weird. Um, but I feel like their mask is falling. They're not able to conceal how they're feeling at the moment. And I feel like... These full moons, new moons, and retrogrades have been so intense. There's been so many shifts each time we move into each new um, retrograde or each new new moon or full moon. The, the shifts have been crazy. Just completely crazy. Okay, we have the photograph. So I feel like even though your person feels like your expectations of them are so high, they're reminiscing. They're reminiscing about memories that they have with you. They've been thinking about you a lot. I feel like those that may, okay, <laughs> back up. I feel like that's the reason why the mask is falling. Because they've been reminiscing so much thinking about you. Those feelings for you are getting so intense. And so uncontrollable. I, it could be like a... A pot that's like been over boiling for hours. You know? Pretty soon it's gonna... It's gonna burn or explode. We have the clock coming out again. So I feel I do feel like this person needs a little bit more time. I do feel like they do feel like the clock is ticking. I feel like they do want to make a move. Cupid's arrow. I feel like they do make want to make a move because they're feeling it. They're feeling love. And you may receive a surprise pop up. A surprise meeting or even a surprise call you know 
but I feel like this person is gonna reach out to you out of nowhere healthy choices yeah your person is trying very hard to make more healthy choices they also want you to make more healthy choices you know because your person wants the best for you that's the reason why they've been taking so much time they've been so undecided for such a long time because your <laughs> your person knows what they've been through and they also know what they have put people through so I feel like your person has taken a lot of time soul searching but they're doing so in hopes of your best interest. <laughs> okay, spirit. Now we're trying to be funny. We have not today. I feel like there's a lot of hurt and pain that your person is a, has been avoiding. And your person feels like if they do make a call or if they do reach out to you, that you're going to avoid communicating with them. They, they feel like you're still angry. Like you just don't have time. <laughs> They're caught in their head. They've been overthinking. But I feel like you've been taking more time out for yourself. I feel like you have been expanding, learning, you know, going through all your emotions so that you can enter into this new phase. I feel like you've been soul searching and having your own ascensions. Whereas your person, I feel like they've been really trying to delay their ascension. They've been really trying to delay growing because it, it feels uncomfortable to them. Okay, give me another message, Spirit. Okay. Oh. We have the Grim Reaper and Seduction. Okay. Your person feels like, even though to them, it feels like your situation is over, like you are not going to give them a second chance. You are not going to give them the time of day. You're just going to kick them to the curb <laughs> and call it a day. They're attracted to you. I feel like... If you're around this person, they kind of flirt in ways. They kind of say little things. And there is such a... It's, there's such an attraction, such a temptation that they feel so seduced by your energy. Your energy just like sucks them in and they don't want to come back from that you know and I, I feel like they want to I'm trying not to say it so bluntly but okay they want to have a lot of sexual energy with you <laughs> I'm just going to put it like that. The sexual energy is just out of this world. Okay. Now, for some of you, this card is also indicating that there is other people who are trying to interfere in the way that this masculine is moving forward. It could be a third party. It could be a family member. But there's some kind of interference that's stopping them from moving forward or keeping them occupied so that they're kind of not paying attention to their wants or needs okay let's get one last message 
the snake we have the snake twice so i feel like there's people on your side there's people on their side who are really trying to interfere who are really trying to uh, make problems in your situation and this is the best time to resolve them use this time especially venus in virgo to resolve any past situations to resolve any issues in your relationships and it could also be time to just cut some people off because i feel like there are some people in your energy who are secretly competing with you and i feel like they're doing that by giving bad advice by staying in your business by asking too many questions and by trying to just interfere in your life altogether. The engagement ring. Okay. You may have some sort of new commitment coming in. Some kind of partnership that you're going to be having if it's with your masculine your masculine wants to give you the commitment that you deserve this could also be you and your masculine coming together for reunion or union um, but it doesn't have to be a engagement per se it it can be some sort of commitment some sort of new job offer some sort of new um partnership that you'll be having okay so that's what i have for you at the bottom we have hand of cards so during this new moon venus in uh, virgo and the retrograde it's time to take chances take a chance take a risk because I feel like your Divine Masculine wants to risk it all just to be near you. So that's what I have. And if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And I will see you on the next one. Many blessings to you, love and light.